All right, welcome back to another video. Hopefully this will be the final chapter of my uh, mini series with uh, finding the perfect holster to go with my Sig Sauer 365 Micro X. All right, <clears throat> originally I, I bought this firearm. I did not have a light on it. For the record, it's clear, nothing's in there. So this is safe. Originally bought this firearm without a light, or originally bought this firearm to use without a light. So I bought a, a couple of holsters without it, and I liked it, so everything was good. Then I decided to get a light put on. Then my holster journey started all over again. So originally, I got these four brothers. This fit perfectly. This this looks real fit real good this, this is the this one fit perfectly i had a winds holster but at the time actually this was the first holster that i bought and when i saw the 1913 rail i didn't realize the sub was different i just saw the 1913 rail and I ordered it but this one is only for the sub so therefore i just pretty much have a holster that i really won't be using but i like the the one that have the uh 7a on it the uh, TLR 7A, I like this one a lot better. I just like the fact that it's boxy and also the front of the firearm is boxy so everything works out pretty good. So this one works well. This is the, the Four Brothers. Then I had, a, uh, this, this is a T-Rex holster. This one worked pretty good too with a magazine. This magazine is loaded, which, I, which I'm not going to put in the firearm, but this one right here. However, I ordered a QVO poster. I just got it in today. This took about uh, six weeks to come in. Actually came a little faster because I... Uh, they said if you want it by Christmas, you had to order it by like November, uh, I think like November 1st or something like that. I actually ordered this like around November, in mid-November, and it's here already. So actually, well, let me take that back. It came in about three weeks. It came in faster. They said a six-week wait time. So that I'm actually happy for that. Now let's take a look and see how it looks. Right. Oh, look at this. This is, this is the comic book holster. It has the words pow and zap and bang on it. I said, hey, you know what? Let me get this tight. What else coming in the pack? That's pretty much it. It give you some um, stickers. It, oh, it give you air freshener. Okay, that's cool. This is a sticker right here. Oops, all right. So now let's see how this one looks. All right, it's there good, feels nice. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna start off with my, the one I like the most from the beginning, which is the Four Brothers. All right, I got the Four Brother holsters on. It seems like it conceals pretty well. This fits real comfortable, no problem. Slides in with no problem. This one right here feels very comfortable. It doesn't have a sidecar on it. However, it feels good. Now, this is the T-Rex um, 2.0 with the sidecar on it. The good thing about this one is that you have a, a mag right here. And also, I'm using a uh, belt, which is considered a... Uh, gun belt so to speak so uh, you know this belt right here is made to handle the weight of a firearm on your waist but this is good if you want to have a, a magazine I'm not really a big fan of the side cars however it's convenient because you can have everything in one spot and especially if you plan on um, carrying appendix but yeah this is pretty much it Now this is the QVO 
um, holster that have the sidecar on it. This one right here. It's similar to the T-Rex, except it does not have a hinge. This feels good. This one right here, I just really like the light, the weight of it. Especially, uh, I can imagine in the summertime, when you have this style, this will actually work out real well because the back is a, the back of it is like a, a, a material that I can imagine that is, it feels good against the skin. It's not a cold plastic feeling, it's like a material that is supposed to be like a sweat guard or some um, um, texture um, backing that feels real good and soft. So I can imagine it looks real good and uh, or it feels real good in the summertime. But besides that, you know, hey, for style points, this one is pretty well, this is pretty good. Unfortunately, when I bought it, it was not on sale, but on Black Friday, which was about two weeks after I bought it, they had a 30% off, so I didn't get the 30% off. However, at least I got it in earlier, so you gotta take the good with the bad. So I mean, I think this is the last of my holsters. This is a holster that I actually got off of. I got this holster right here off of um, Amazon. And it took about four weeks to come in. It looked like this is like a handmade holster as far as they make it per order. And this is good for outside the waistband. Like I said in my other video, what I like is, um, especially in the winter time, I might not want to wear appendix or inside my uh, waistband due to the fact that I may have multiple layers of clothes on. Also, I may have a heavy coat on, so therefore I want to have access to it. And since I, I will have a coat on, the coat itself will conceal it. So this right here outside the waistband will actually come real, real nice. This is how outside the waistband holster will look. Like I said, uh, if I have a heavy coat on, I probably won't need too many layers. Therefore, this will probably be the first layer right from under my coat. So once the coat is open, got it right here. So I always like to, like to have an outside the waistband holster in my repertoire of holsters for that reason alone. All right, these are the four holsters that I'm planning on using at different times with my uh, SIG P365X macro when I'm, when I'm actually carrying it. It depends on how I feel. Like I, I can imagine I'm gonna use this one the most just because it feels very simple and it fits very well. This one, like I said before, is really for the winter time. If I wanna wear a heavy coat, I have multiple layers on, I will use this one. These two are sidecars. I got this is the T-Rex, which fits pretty well. I got a mag. The good thing with the T-Rex is you also have an option to take this off and it will just have a hook, an attachment hook right here on the side so I can go that route if I like to. And this guy right here is the Q, uh, QVO. This is more for fun. And if I feel like I wanna spice it up, you know, I wanna feel colorful. Always like to have options. All right, here go my box of holsters that didn't make the cut. I'm gonna add the Winds, the Works holster. The Works holster, I'm gonna add the Works holster to the box. And that's it, you know. For the record, some of these holsters are holsters for other firearms that I have, and some of them are holsters that uh, when I when, when I went from carrying a uh, light, a weapons light, uh, once I went that route, a lot, I put a lot of these holsters out of the out of business. All right, so that's pretty much it. Check y'all in the next video, and hopefully I won't be buying a holster for a while. All right, peace.